you are watching Adjuster TV. All right, in this episode, I'm going to answer the question, what does an insurance adjuster actually do? As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IAPAT. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at iPath, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to iPath.com. Now, becoming a claims adjuster was one of the best decisions I ever made. But few people know about this career. And those that have heard about it often aren't too sure what an insurance claims adjuster or auto damage appraiser actually does. So what does a claims adjuster do? Adjusters are like investigators for insurance claims. Their job is to gather evidence in a variety of ways. In this video, I'll explain the role of a claims adjuster in the insurance industry, the different types of adjusting and what it's like to be a claims adjuster. So let's talk about some types of insurance claims adjusters. There are many different types of adjusters, just as many as there are different types of insurance claims. There are also various situations under which you can be hired to complete claims. There are different licenses available, including an all lines adjusters license that in certain states covers all types of insurance claims. Understanding the differences and what each adjuster or appraiser does can help someone decide on a career path. So let's review some of the most common types of adjusters. One, public adjusters. Now, public adjusters are hired by policyholders to represent them. They assist with the filing of a claim and settlements. Their job is to make sure the policyholder is represented. Staff adjusters. A staff adjuster works full-time for an insurance company as a W-2 employee. Whether they're positioned as an outside or an inside adjuster determines how they work. Outside staff adjusters. Now outside staff adjusters working for an insurance company go out into the field to complete inspections. They're gathering evidence for a claim on the outside of the office. They take photos of damages, interview witnesses, talk with the insureds, and write estimates based on the information they've gathered. The outside adjuster's estimate is then used to determine the amount that will be paid to the owner of the damaged property. They also call and collect police reports, medical records when it's needed. Inside staff adjusters. Now these staff adjusters work exclusively inside the office focused on gathering all the information about a claim and the proper handling and closing of the claim. Inside adjusters assign inspections to outside staff adjusters, to independent adjusters or auto damage appraisers that will gather the evidence for them in the field. The inside staff adjuster is focused on handling policy decisions, talking with owners, finalizing paperwork and settling the claim. In some companies, an insurance adjuster may perform both roles inside and outside. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com.
Independent claim adjusters work for multiple clients as a 1099 contractor. Their clients range from working directly for insurance companies to working with independent adjusting firms, also known as third-party administrators or TPAs. An independent adjuster owns their own business and provides their own insurance adjuster tools and is responsible for performing field inspections on behalf of their clients. Because independent adjusters work for multiple clients and own their own business, it can be more challenging to be an independent adjuster than a staff adjuster for the same reasons. Independent adjuster salaries, though, tend to be higher than that of staff adjusters. So how much do claim adjusters make? This is a common question. The average insurance adjuster's salary is $56,000 per year, but this varies greatly based on the type of adjusting you are doing. The average auto damage appraiser's salary is just over $50,000, while independent adjusters and catastrophic adjusters' salaries can be well over $100,000 in a busy year. My strong recommendation is that you decide what type of adjuster you want to be and what type of work you want to do based on your interests and passions and forget about the salary. Most adjusters get started in claims because they want to help people. With each and every claim, you can see the difference you're making in someone's life. This makes the satisfaction of the job itself very high. But it's also important to note what the job prospects are like and what it's like doing claims work on a daily basis. A question that often comes up is, are claim adjusters going to be needed in the future? Adjusters and appraisers are in demand. When I searched claim adjuster jobs on Indeed, I found 3,266 positions listed. Adjusters are needed nationwide. With the high average age of 60 plus in the insurance industry, more people are retiring than entering the insurance industry. This creates a great career opportunity for younger generations, as well as those searching for a second career. And let me tell you, claims is a stable career. And let me tell you, being an insurance adjuster is a very stable career. As long as people are damaging property or themselves, there will be insurance claims to process. Also, during the 2020 coronavirus pandemic, adjusters in many states were still working because they're considered essential to the economy. Both staff and independent adjusters have been able to keep working while much of the world has stopped. Now, what's it like a day in the life of an insurance adjuster? Well, a day in the life of an insurance claims adjuster varies greatly whether you're an independent, staff, or public adjuster. Staff adjusters typically work normal business hours and often report to an office. So staff adjusters can find more of a routine than their counterparts who are working independently. Independent adjusters own their own business and work more of a feast and famine type of schedule. Since there are four higher adjuster, they may have days, weeks, or months when they're really busy, followed by others that aren't as full of claims. Work for independent adjusters can surge due to the weather, filling in for vacationing staff adjusters or adding new clients. You can work as much or as little as you want since it's your business and you decide on your income needs. All adjusters handle claims of some kind. Processing claims requires most, if not all, the following tasks. Communicating with all parties involved on the claim. Speaking with policyholders, claimants, and witnesses. Completing inspections of damaged property, taking photos of damaged items, writing estimates or gathering invoices, filling out reports and documents, determining the value of the loss on the claim, deciding if the claim is covered under the policy, working with the insured or claimant and those contracted to fix the damages, and besides the general list above, there are some specific tasks an adjuster needs to perform based on the type of claims they're processing. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you write along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. Both staff and independent adjusters tend to focus on a particular type of claim in their day-to-day -day work. Property adjusters typically focus on houses, buildings, and damages to property. 
Insurance adjusters that handle these types of claims will need to be able to climb a ladder to inspect roofs and not be afraid of closed places like crawl spaces, attics, or basements. Property adjusters create estimates based on their findings using software such as Xactimate or Simbility. In addition to an estimate, property adjusters create a sketch of the house inside of their estimating software. Auto adjusters and auto damage appraisers focus on damages to vehicles. Their job is to take photos of the vehicle's damage, document damaged parts, and create an industry standard auto body estimate using software such as CCC1, Autotex, or Mitchell. Auto damage appraisers are focused on the damage to and the value of the vehicle and typically do not settle claims. They report all of their findings back to an adjuster who makes final policy and payment decisions. Adjusters that specialize in marine and heavy equipment have extensive training and experience on these types of property. Marine adjusters focus on boats, jet skis, and other types of watercraft. Heavy equipment adjusters typically inspect and write estimates on farm equipment, commercial trucks and trailers, and construction equipment. This type of adjuster writes estimates using Mitchell Truckest or Truck Writer Estimator. When inspecting RV claims, they may use something like Duncan's RV Damage Estimating Software. Now, there's even adjusters who handle crop claims. Crop adjusters inspect damaged crops and fields that have claims filed on them. They investigate by inspecting the soil, crops, and aerial photos and discussing their findings with the farmers. Now, if becoming a claims adjuster sounds like a career you're interested in, finding out what the state adjuster licensing requirements are for your state is the first step. You'll also need to determine what type of claims you'll want to handle as an insurance adjuster in your career. And also decide, do you want to be a staff adjuster or an independent adjuster? Do you want to inspect property or auto claims? My name is Chris Stanley, and we at IAPATH are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the How to Find Work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, Keep walking your path and claiming your life.